Now, you've actually been working with Rick Rubin recently, haven't you? What was that like? No. No, you weren't? That's... Yeah. What was it like? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We do what we want with Rick Because you're the first kind of thrash band that he's actually worked with, aren't you? Yeah. So do you think you're responsible for him moving away from things like the Beastie Boys? And... I guess to some extent, because he's now working with a lot, a lot of metal. He's going to be working with metal bands now from now on, I guess. Different metal bands. We're the only really thrash band he's ever really worked with. And how'd that come about? Pure luck, I guess. <laughs> what was the motivation behind the band? To be the hardest, the, the most extreme? Originally, yeah. To be the most extreme. And that's what we've done. I think I think we're we're an extreme form of metal. And I think we've accomplished that. Who would you say your influences have been? You don't want to hear my influences. I want to hear your influences. Cree, Hendrix, The Animals, Jefferson Airplane. Those are my influences. How does your music fit in with that? What's that? How does your music fit in with them? It as far away as possible, right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit into that. Those are my influences. Those are what, that's what I grew up with. Yeah. You know, my sisters used to listen to that all the time. <laughs> the only time I recently started listening to music is when I joined the band with these guys. And I didn't even know metal existed. That's for sure. <laughs> it's true. It's, a, it's an honest statement. I didn't know the shit existed until he said, hey, you know, why do you say we join the band? These are the songs we're learning. I said, well, what's, who's this? It was a band called Iron Maiden. It's like, who's that? 